Uh, this is Corporal Hannon, St. Johnson County Sheriff's Office. Today's date is Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Time is 14.40 hours. Um, it's in reference to case number SJSO 21OFF004305. Uh, person I'll be interviewing is, um, in correct me if I'm wrong, is Adolphus, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, can you say your full name for the record, please? Adolphus Ray Absher the third. Okay, but you go by Trey, correct? Yes, sir. And just, I've heard, seen different spellings. How do you spell Trey? T R E. T R E. Okay. So, do you mind if I call you Trey? You can call me Trey. Okay. Um, also present is uh, is a attorney. Could you? Yep, attorney Brittany Souls and David Taylor via telephone. Okay, and also your father's here too, correct? Yes, sir. And this is your father here? Yep. Sir, could you please identify yourself by your yes. full name? Father Adolphus Ray Absher Jr. Okay. And kind of before we begin, I just want to confirm that you've um, made this, this appointment to come in here and speak to us voluntarily, correct? Yes, sir. And no one's forced you, threatened you, or coerced you to come in here, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and, you know, your father's present, so... Um, so, uh, also, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, place you under oath. Um, well, before I do that, just understand, you're here as, as a witness. You're not here as a suspect at this point. I have nothing that I would uh, even consider charging with at this point, so you're not suspected of committing any crimes, okay? I am going to ask you some questions about possible drug use as it relates to this investigation. I'm not interested in charging you with any of it. If you use drugs in the past, I, I can't charge you with that anyway. So I'm not looking at any kind of criminal repercussions. Okay. So do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, at this point in time, I'm going to place you under oath. If you please raise your right hand for me. This will be a sworn law enforcement interview. There's to be a sworn recorded interview taken by a law enforcement deputy pursuant to Florida Statute 117.10. Do you swear and affirm that the statement you're about to provide is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I swear. All right, thank you. Um, I I know you've had a lot going on um, this week, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of things come out through social media and through uh, news media outlets. I'm sure you've been bombarded, probably. Um, I can't imagine being in your position from what I know about it, okay? But um, what I spoke to your attorney about beforehand was at this point in time, we don't have any reason to suspect you had any involvement in any of this, um, in the specific incident that happened. Um, we think you may have information that may help us out with it. Okay, you understand that, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so what I spoke to your attorney about is that I understand it may be awkward um, talking about some of these things in front of your father. Um, I just need you to be completely upfront and honest with me, and uh, I'm sure he would uh, appreciate that as well. Um, yes, sir. I just... I would appreciate your help in this, okay? And really, it's to help you out, okay? Just to make sure that there's nobody else that can say that you had any involvement in what happened with Tristan. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I guess to get started, um, can you kind of explain to me um, background information? Like, how long you've known Aiden, how long you've known Tristan? I've known... Aiden for about a year. The first, the first day that I attended Patriot Oaks Academy, we became friends in the first five minutes, and we hung out every day for like the past two weeks. Not the past two weeks, but the first two weeks I was there. The first two weeks you were there? Okay. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to kind of do is tell you kind of what I'm looking for, basically, and I'm just going to let you just explain to me um, everything that you can. It kind of goes off, you know, the tip of your tongue goes off of you know, your memory is just, I'm going to let you just kind of talk for a little bit and kind of explain, and then I'll have some follow-up questions after that, okay? So I'm just looking for uh, background information, how long you've known Aiden, how long you've known Tristan, what, you know, your relationship is like with each of them individually, uh, as a group, if you hang out as a group, um, and kind of what led up to the events of this past weekend. So, uh... Me and Aiden are my we have, yeah I have a group of friends which is me Aiden and his girlfriend Sophie mm -hmm. and me we're all pretty close we all hang out as, as much as we can and they're together every day and and if I'm not there Tristan I would hang out with her more alone or with like if I had somebody staying the night she'd come over and it'd be the three of us because Aiden I have hung out with Aiden and Tristan before at my house two two to three times already and. 
everything was perfectly fine, not, nothing ever seemed peculiar, he's never said he was going to do anything or nothing ever came up. And that, like, that's why I didn't, I got this, like, was a curveball to me, because, I mean, Aiden has said, like, some messed up stuff to me, like, to Zophie, saying he was going to do things, but you don't really take any of that stuff serious as coming from a teenager. Mm. And he has said he, like, he, he said, like, he, like, his knife, he wanted to, like, slit somebody's throat. And like he said, it'd be satisfying. He's talked about killing people. He's talked about fighting people. I've seen him practice stabbing motions with his knife. And it, I mean, you don't really take any of this stuff as in he's gonna stab and kill somebody because he's just a he's just a kid. Mm -hmm. We're all just kids, and our group. I mean, we we joke around about stuff. And we have a little bit of dark humor, but nothing like that. Nobody ever says they're going to hurt anybody or kill anybody. Okay. So I'm going to circle back to a couple things, but let's just keep going about the what happened this past weekend, um, starting with um, any, did anything happen um, in school on Friday or Thursday or any kind of conversations between the three of you about anything that's going on? No, the, I've... Tristan said that they had a conversation in a class, but she didn't really give me any details on what they were talking about. Who is the Who is they? Tristan and Aiden. Okay. They have one class together, and I mean that's kind of their time. I mean I don't really know what they talk about, mm -hmm. but um, I've. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, it's just. So things in school were normal. Yeah, there's nothing ever nothing in school. Nothing out of the ordinary. What about after school? After school, we usually hang out every day. If I'm not hanging out with them, I'm with Caleb. So, Zophie, is, like, I've talked to Zophie. Like, I called her. I just wanted to check on her to see how she was doing because they were in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And she told me that he said he was going to kill somebody within the month. And he said he was going to, like, he would kill her. He's talked about stabbing people, killing people. And it's and I was just like, he said he was gonna kill somebody this month, and this happens. When did he make that comment about wanting to kill somebody this month? I'm not sure. I'm towards it was. I'm pretty sure it was towards the beginning, but um, that's not for certain. That's not a fact. The beginning of April or the beginning of May? Um, April more more than likely. Okay. Because that week, that month, I was. It was more of them hanging out than I was. Mm. It was more of just them, and I was with Caleb most of the time, my other friend. Who did he make that comment to? He never said he was going to kill, like, she never said that he was going to kill somebody, like, in particular. He just said somebody. Right, but that comment that he was going to kill somebody within a month, who did he make that comment to? He made that to his girlfriend, Zophie. Okay. Um, so... Let's go, we're going to circle back to that, but what, let's go to Saturday night. What all happened Saturday night? Saturday night, um, I currently got suspended from school, so I wasn't able to go anywhere. And Aiden came over around 8 after he got done hanging out with Zophie. He came around 8 o'clock, 8.20ish. And it was, he was there for like, he was there for a couple hours. And then me and him decided we were going to smoke some like weed so we went outside and the blanket that y'all that y'all took mm -hmm. we uh, me and him were sitting on so me and him were outside and then I was I said I, I thought about Tristan because I always invite her if I have people over mm -hmm. anytime if it's Caleb or if it's Aiden or if it's Zophie or all of them I always invite her over so I called her up, I was like I was like Aiden should Tristan do you want Tristan to come over and he was just like I don't care sure so I called her, I invited her over, and then one of my other friends called me, Ansley, and so I, I was like, okay, Tristan, I'll call you back, and then I was on the phone with her. And then Aiden was like, can I call her? Like, can you, have her, can you give me your number real quick? And I was just, I was just like, sure. I didn't, I never thought he was going to call on to see where she's at. So he called her, and he convinced her to leave before, like, her sister went upstairs to go to bed. So her sister caught her sneaking out that night. And then she got there. She was freaking out. She was like, oh, my God. My, they caught me. She's going to tell my parents. And then Aiden's just like, you're good. You're fine. Nothing's going to happen. So 
at the time before she got there, I mean, I finished up. I went inside. Aiden came inside. It was cold. And that's why he had put on my hoodie. He left that night in my hoodie. So, what, can you describe the hoodie for me? It was. I think that was your phone that was beeping. He was, um, he was, it's a black hoodie that says Death Valley on it. And, uh, it has cactuses, it's like a bull skull. And, um, that night he was wearing pants, that hoodie, and black high tops. Not black high top, but white Nike high tops with a black Nike okay, symbol. Black. Okay. Okay, so just... For your reference, there, uh, Trey just described the clothing that uh, Aiden was wearing that night. And I know the shoes because when we were skating outside and he took off the hoodie and left that one in my garage, he borrowed a pair of my Vans to put on because we were outside practicing skating. Okay, when did he borrow those Vans? What day was that? Oh, that was the same day. Saturday? They, yeah, they were in the house still. Okay. So he borrowed your Vans to skate and then he put his Nikes back on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. So when he left your house, he was wearing, and could you describe, so he was wearing your black Death Valley hoodie. Yes, sir. And he was wearing, you said, was he wearing jeans, you said? Not jeans. He always wears sweatpants. Sweatpants, okay. I think they're jeans, not jeans, they're rather sweatpants or a pair of shorts, one that he was wearing that morning, but I'm like positive it was sweatpants. All I know is that he was wearing Death Valley hoodie mm -hmm. and the high tops. That's like I'm for sure certain on. So you're, but you're not certain about the pants that he was wearing or shorts. Um, I'm pretty, I'm not, I'm pretty sure they were pants, but I'm, that's not a fact. Okay. But I remember skating and he had on pants because he fell and he was like, I'm having glad I was wearing pants because he, he like fell right on his knees. Okay. Um. So you said you were on the phone with Ansley, correct? Yes, sir. Was that a FaceTime call? Uh, yes, FaceTime. Okay. And what time? Do you, can you remember about what time you made that call? 12, 12, between 12 and 12.30. And I called her again after I went back inside. Because Aiden was like, hang up the phone, and he hung up on her. So you were on, you were FaceTiming with Ansley mm -hmm. um, while Aiden and Tristan were there? Tristan was not there yet. Tristan was not there yet. Okay. So, and correct me if I'm wrong, so Aiden comes over, you said, around 8 o'clock, 8.20ish, maybe, mm -hmm. um, and you and him were hanging out, and you and him were sitting outside on the blanket smoking the marijuana? Yeah, that was around 12. It was CBD, if you know CBD. what that is. Yeah. It was around... Was it through, like, a vaping device? No. It was, it was the thing. It was actual. Okay. Like, so... Around 11.30ish is whenever we went outside to sm like smoke. Mm -hmm. So then we did that. It hit 12. And then like that's when we were like, we're all like, we're all like, we're done. So then I was like, hey, should, do you want Tristan, like, should Tristan come over? He was just like, yeah. So then we, we went back inside. So we went back, we went inside because it was cold outside. He put on my hoodie and like we were laying under my blanket. I, call, I called Ansley again, because after my, he hung up on her outside and I told her I'd call her back. Mm -hmm. So I went back inside, FaceTimed her again. We were on the phone and then I was, I was starting to nod off. I was like, extremely tired the whole day. Mm -hmm. So then he, he called her already outside, got her to sneak out and she got caught by her sister and she was on the way to the house. Mm -hmm. So then she came in, then two went outside on the blanket around the back because I have my room here and there's a door. Mm -hmm. So they went around and right here by my window and we're on the blanket. So then she hung up, she said, I'm gonna call my boyfriend. And I was like, okay. And I, and I got off the phone and then- Anza said she's gonna call her boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I got up, went back outside. And then I, did, I took another hit off of the CBD. And then I was like, it's too cold out here. I'm going back inside. Mm -hmm. So I went back inside. And then I was scrolling through TikTok on my phone, and I fell asleep. And then they came back in and woke me up. And when they came back in, because the door's loud, I was like, "Y'all got it." I was like, "Y'all, y'all should go," because I'm falling asleep. And Tristan, she wait to get like she she won't leave. She'll sit there for hours until like I tell her to leave. Mm -hmm. So she sat. Um, I told them to leave. They they left, and then I just went back to sleep. And then everything else is whenever, like, the next day, whenever I, mm. I found out by mm. the cops. Do you know about what time Aiden and Tristan left? One, ten, one.
between one and one ten, because I was almost my phone was still on because it was just replaying the same TikTok. Okay. Um. She got there around twelve twenty to thirty to forty within that thirty minute range. She was only there for like maybe half an hour, twenty, fifteen minutes. Okay. So while it was just you and Aiden there, what was the conversation like? It was just the usual bro hangout that we usually have. I was on the phone with Ansley. He was geeking that I liked her, you know, geeking as in laughing. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just a usual thing. He was just like, bro, CBD sucks. We were talking about that. And he, he, he didn't have any of his own stuff. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've touched weed in a while because it's not because I've gotten in trouble in it for the past and I don't want to like it. Mm -hmm. Put no friends, no nothing, no phone, anything like that. So it was just a regular thing. I, I played my game for, I didn't, t I played my game of four for a little bit. Your game of four? No, my game before oh. she got there. You played your game? Mm, a little bit, yeah. What I, game? God of War. Okay. Was, was that on your phone or? PS4. Because okay. I have my table right here and the bed's like on the floor. Okay. So, so I played that. When you and Aiden are at the house before Tristan gets there, you guys are just having your normal bro time. Mm -hmm. um, you're on the phone with Ansley. He's laughing about it and you're playing the game. There's... Uh, I wasn't. I played the game at like nine. Okay. So I, I was just saying that I was playing the game during that and he was on his phone. Okay. He never talked anything about anything. It was just the usual stuff. Okay. Um, did they say anything about where they were going to go after they left? Mm -mm. I just told them to leave and then rolled back over and heard the door open and they both left. Because okay. that's, uh, that's why I was just like, why would she keep going? Because you, usually she'd want to go home. Mm -hmm. Did Tristan say anything? or what was did she? What kind of conversations did Tristan have when she got there? They, they went outside. I didn't have, like, it was mainly Aiden and Tristan's time. Okay. I was kind of, I was maybe with Tristan around 10 minutes the entire time. Okay. Because I went, I went out there for a minute, and then I came back inside, and then when they came back inside, I told them to leave. So I didn't really spend a lot of time with her. I didn't really have too much conversation with her. Okay. Um, so when you went to bed and they left, you said they left about 1 o'clock to one ten. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing that happened? As I mean, The next day or that it, night? Yeah, as far as, well, that night as far that you have direct knowledge of. That night, he never texted me, never called me. I never. When I woke up, I mean, we went. I went with that around the usual, like usual day we would have. Woke up. We went to. So what time did you wake up? Um, he wakes me up around like nine. Around she, nine. Yeah. Okay. So woke up around nine. I thought Aiden was home. Tristan was home. I didn't hear anything about that. Okay. And um, we've been talking about building this fun box for a while for skating so we went to Home Depot get that mm -hmm. and then when we're, the garage is open we're out there building it and stuff and the cops pulled up and then so I mean, so you woke up about 9 what time did you leave to go to Home Depot? I think around 10 okay. um, so you go to Home Depot and I'm trying to bring it back up so you go to Home Depot you get the stuff to build this, this fun box for skating and then you said the police showed up? Yeah, they got up. Or they were there around 11. They got there around 11 when we got back, and the thing was already, we're waiting for the glue to dry on it. Okay. Um, so did you ha try to communicate with Aiden or Tristan that morning between I waking up and going to Home Depot and before the cops got there? Mm -mm. Okay. I, didn't snack, I didn't snap him, text him, or anything. Me and him don't really communicate over Snapchat at all. If we talk, we either FaceTime and like, okay, you want to come to my house, your house, or Sophie's house. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't have streaks or anything. Didn't have what? Streaks. This one, like, how many days y'all snap back and forth. Okay. Um, so, at 11 o'clock in the morning, um, when the police show up to your house, do you know why the police are there? Mm -hmm. I've... I was just, I was like really scared for a minute. I was like, are, are they here? Cause like I did something, dad, my dad did something. Do they think we did something? I didn't know. And then there was, they said, Tristan Bailey went missing last night and her parents reported her missing. And I was, I was just like, oh God, I was like, oh God. And I was just like, she run away? Did she like, 
she didn't come home, went left again. Is she, like, is she with Aiden? I, I didn't know. Okay. So walk me through what happens um, after the police come up to your house and, and ask you about Tristan. What happens after that? I try, I try to get in communicate contact with her immediately. I FaceTimed her like 10 times, texted her after all that, and then I called Aiden and I was just like, do you know what happened? Like, what happened last night? He, was, he just said he dropped her off at the front of the like at the front of her neighborhood and he went home. I thought he was on a skateboard. I told the cops he skated home, but because I did, I because usually we skate everywhere. Mm -hmm. I did, but he walked with her, which I also thought was weird because he never walks. He always skates. So how did he get to your house? He skated there. Okay, so is his skateboard still at your house? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, if if we needed to collect it, would we be able to come to the house and collect a skateboard if we needed to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So you you said he always skates wherever he goes, and you thought it was weird that he walks, um, especially that far. That that like back to his house. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you said you you were calling Aiden. Um, with the police were there when you were calling Aiden. Yeah, I kind of walked away for a second. I was like, dude, like what's going on? I was like, do you know where she is? Mm -hmm. He was just like, no, I dropped her off at the front of her neighborhood, and I was like, okay. And then I was like, I'll call you later. And then I called, and then I went up to the cops and told them that, that like, hey, she was here last night. Aiden, let, they left at the same time, Aiden and her. And then he was like, okay, what's his address? And like all that, and I called him again. I was like, the cops are on the way to your house. And I was just like, they were coming to talk to you. And he was just like, what? And I was like, yeah, okay. And it's like, that's when I saw like a little bit of panic in his face, just a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. So you FaceTime him for that call? Yeah, I FaceTime him both times. Okay. And then past that, we're like he's the cops standing there with me after they leave, and then the cop comes back and says I have to hold you. He's like, you don't have to get in the back of the car or any handcuffs or anything. He just, just needs to stand here with you. We stand there, and then eventually they all pull up in the front of the house, and they move me into the squad car with Aiden. And when I get in there, he brings up. First, I texted him on my phone. I texted him on my phone. And I was just like. They probably have recording devices and the things tapped. That's only because I didn't bring out that I touched weed because I didn't want my dad to find that out. I was really scared about that. Mm -hmm. And then he brought up blood being on pants, saying that he cut his finger from a while back. And I, I, did, I mean, they're black pants, or I don't know if what he was talking about because he did cut his finger, and he was waving it around. And he got blood everywhere. When did he cut his finger? I'd say last month. It was a while back, yeah. Okay. Like the beginning, beginning of April. Okay. So you got into the cop car and he's talking about blood on his pants? Yeah. And I, at that time, he was like, let's make memories. Like, like you make a Snapchat memory and you save it. So we remember whenever, like, all this happened. I made one and I was just like, Tristan, whenever you do come back and they find you, I'm going to be so mad at you. I had to sit in the back of a cop car for, like, 30 minutes. Because there's like, because I I didn't know anything happened. Mm -hmm. That nobody even when I even after they found their body, nobody even told me that she was gone. My dad told me when I got back around like twelve. Mm -hmm. So were there any other conversations that you had with Aiden? He made a joke about us being in prison, and I was like, that's not funny. I was like, I'm not trying to go to prison right. anytime soon ever. He was like, wouldn't it be funny if like we both went. To the same prison and I was like no not really I mean I didn't even really pay much attention to it I didn't even respond to it mm -hmm. and then we just kind of sat there and then we drove away kind of to the front of her neighborhood and they put me in the back of the car and then the rest of the day I was just I was just sitting in the back of the car until they put me in the police station okay so were there any other conversations that you had with Aiden that you can recall that was the only two that we had we, okay. I, we were only in there for like 10 minutes together. Okay. And so you were Snapchatting, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who were you Snapchatting with? Or you said you were making memories. Does that go to everybody? or is No. That... It's just like if I were to get my phone, I'd click on like the bottom. Like, it's like right here on the bottom. There's like a little thing. It's like a gallery for Snapchat. So I went in there and it's saved in there still. Okay. Because at the time, I just thought that she didn't go to bed and she fell asleep at a friend's house or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that she wasn't... Like any of that even was possible, or that Aiden was even capable of doing something like that. Okay. 
Um, was Aiden using Snapchat too? Mm-hmm. That's when he posted the thing in the mirror. I was in the car with him when he did that. Okay. Did he say anything about that, or he just went up and did it on his own, didn't make any comments about it? or? He, not, he just did it on his own. I did too in my house. I came back in and I posted one. Does anybody know where Tristan's at? Has anybody heard anything? That was before you? Never got into the car. Okay. That's when they left and before he came back to hold me. Okay. Um, so... Um, during that encounter, that's when, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you invoked your rights through your parent, your father, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I want to talk about um, Tristan first. Okay. Um, like I said, I know it's going to get a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit awkward, but I need you to be honest with me. Okay. Yes, sir. Can you describe your relationship with Tristan? We were... That we were a lot more than friends. We were we were really close. We were. I she called me and went like from her cousin, and then like ever since then the ball was just rolling. And then like I was, she was kind of the first girl that I like talked to more than a friend at Durban. Mm-hmm. And I I don't know I don't know if like if I was the first guy that she was talking to or anything like that. But all I know is she was the first girl I talked to in Durban. And then when I like Aiden started coming to sleep over. And I started having sleepovers with people. I would invite her over because, you know, an extra person having over makes things more fun instead mm-hmm. of, like, one person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, has she, um, during your conversations with her, has she talked recently about wanting to run away? And she, she said that one time after she got caught by her sister. She's like, oh, my God, I want to run away. And that was the one time she said it was the night that she was at your house on Saturday night. And she got caught. She got caught by her sister, like, sneaking out. But she said that to Aiden on the phone, not mm-hmm. to me. But I still heard it. Okay. Um, all right. I think I'm, I'm good on Tristan. Okay. Let's go to Aiden now. Okay. You said you've known him for a while. You've been best friends with him. For, I think he's had best friends, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, from the first day you started going to Patriot Oaks. Yeah, but we it was kind of off and on because we were friends for about a good month. Mm-hmm. And then we got into a big fight, cause, like a big fight, and we just like hated each other. What was that fight about, if you don't mind me asking? He he just, he kept, you know when you treat your friends with respect, you treat other people with respect, he treated me like, he treated me lower than, than I know that I was. Okay. So he just didn't treat you as a very good friend? Yeah. Okay, so what caused you to get back into a friendship with him? Um... I just, after, like, I got quarantined for six weeks, came back to school, I have a class with him. I was like, I don't even care anymore. I was just like, it's already passing over. Mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, then eventually, like, then when we started talking again, he was, he treated me right, like, and then we became best friends. Okay. And then especially when I met Zophie, because I knew his girlfriend before he did. I was friends with her. I hung out with her. And then I brought him aboard the little, like, group we had, me and her. Okay. Um, can you just, and so when did you start, like, when did you first meet Aiden and start to be friends with him? And you said it was the first day you attended Patriot Oaks. What, I don't know what day that was. What time do we move into the house? It was after October. You after. can give me, like, an approximate time frame. That's fine. Huh? You can give me, like, an approximate time frame. I know, I'm, I can't even think. It was before June, after December. I think it was, it was after July. So would it be safe to say, like, sometime September. this past summer? Yeah, we moved in during the summertime. Of 2020? Yes. Okay. And then you started the school year that year, correct? Yes. And so we started was, going to the school. Yeah, I was already, t- I was two weeks late already. I okay. Remember. I was so already. about two weeks after school started? Yeah. Okay. Um, so can you describe um, Aiden's attitude, his personality, his demeanor? Didn't care about anything. He was a really big pothead. Like he, all he, and that's one of the main things he talked about was weed. He and he didn't like he didn't really care about anything. He was really chill. He was. It's one of the main reasons I like I liked him as a friend. He just wasn't really like bouncing off the walls everywhere. Mm-hmm. He was kind of like chill. He didn't. He was he was more mature than everybody else. So I could stand being around them. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, that was about it. He liked me and him liked the same things. We both liked skating. We both liked the same games. He was he was just he was a really chill person. 
Mm. But you said he didn't care about anything. What, what do you mean by that? Like, you can do anything. He just didn't really care. Like, if you, like... He, he obviously he cared if you said he cared if you said anything about his mom he'd get mad about that. Mm-hmm. He cared about his phone, skateboard, but like you can say anything he'd just be like cool beans. So he wouldn't really get mad about anything. Yeah, he doesn't really. That's why whenever he only get mad if like you are really, really, really trying to make him mad. Mm-hmm. You'd have to really be trying to get him mad. Have you seen him mad before? Um. No, not to the, not, like, really mad. Of course, like, he'd get, I'd get him annoyed, and it was on purpose. I'd aggravate him, because mm-hmm. it was funny. Right. But, um, he wouldn't, he, like, he'd never, like, like, act in serious anger and try, like, try to hurt me or anything. Okay. Um, I think I might have asked this question before you might have addressed it. Did he ever talk about, um, death, about killing? He did all the time. He did all the time. Like, can you elaborate on that for me? So we'd hang out every day. He would, every about every two weeks, we'd have a conversation about it. Like, not a conversation. He would just say that. Zo- he's talked about it way more with Zofi than he ever has with me. Mm-hmm. He's brought it up maybe like four or five times because he's seen the way I reacted to it. Because, you know, and there, but he talks about it all the time with Zofi. So what would he talk about with you? With me, he would just like, remember we were with Tristan one time. He was like, Trey's crush would be like fighting people because I do boxing and I've been boxing for a couple of years. He'd be like, Trey's crush is like fighting. My crush is killing people. And then like, I was just like, what? Like, you know, your crush means you like doing it. Mm-hmm. So you like killing people. Did you talk to him about that? or did No, you just... I just kind of brushed over it. Because at the same time, I don't think he's serious about killing people. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, because of the teenager he was, his mom, his mom was always mean to him, his dad was always mean to him, he was always, like, in a bad mood, but you didn't know he was in a bad mood. So I just didn't know if that was his way to cope with it, and if he was just, like, dark about some things. Okay. So, it was just, that was just be the comments that he made, that his crush was about killing people? Yeah. Did he make any kind of specific comments about one to kill? Slitting throats. He said that before. Not anyone specific. He never said he was going to kill somebody specifically. Mm-hmm. He just, like, he would say killing people or slitting throats, stabbing people, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I mean, he's talking about slitting throats and stabbing people. Did he carry a knife with him? Yes, he did. Like, once in a while? No, me and, um, I, I was really good with my hands, so I knew how to, I knew how to fight. Mm-hmm. He he knew how to fight, but me and me and there was a whole bunch of high schoolers that were trying to like jump me and Aiden. There was like oh, and there was like at least an easy thirty or forty of them. So he always carried it on him, and like we were always watching our backs. That's why we never usually go to South, the big park over there, mm-hmm. the other really big amenity center because they're like they threaten us with guns already. Is that like the high school kid hangout down there? Yeah. Okay. Um. So you said he would carry a knife with him. Yeah. Do you know what kind of knife? Yes. What kind of knife? Dad, do you have the reference? I have the <clears throat> I have the picture. I need to pull it up. It has it's a dark woodish handle. It has gold and silver on it and it is a straight blade. Is is it similar to this one that That's like that's the exact same knife. That's the knife that Yike okay. always carried. Now okay. um so the knife that he always carried, um, when you say he always could, did he carry any other knives with him? No. Okay, so but that he was had a, knife. a whole bunch of knives. Okay, but he always carried that one with him. Yeah, that was like the special one that he always carried. Okay, if I showed you a picture of it, would you be able to tell me if that was a knife that he carried or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yep, that's it. That's the exact same one. Are you one hundred percent positive? thousand percent positive i've held that knife in my hands when was the last time you held that knife um i'd say a week or two ago okay so just so you're aware um we did swab this knife for dna it has i can tristan's held it i've held it zofie's held it caleb's held it gabe's held it ryan's held it there's a lot of he'd always have it on him so it'd always be at hangouts and people would obviously grab it but that's the exact same knife he always carried. But he had one that he carried before, but he broke it. 
like okay. just playing around with it, he snapped it all the way backwards, and that's how he cut his finger. Okay. So if you could, for me, if you're a thousand minutes sure this is his knife, you just write that kind of right here. But that, this, yeah, but, this is like, you yeah, said, you this can is say his knife. Down if you, don't, you don't have to stand up. I'm just mm. trying to slide it. What, what, should, what should I just write? This is the like, this is his knife. Just if you want to say, um, just write in there in your in your own words, however you want to say it. Um, but you know, the certainty you are that that is the knife that Aiden would carry with him. You can do me a favor and kind of up here, if you put today's date, which is the uh, 13th, so May 13th, 2021, and if you could initial it, or sign it for me please, or initial it. I'm just going to put Dolphus right here, I don't know how to write in cursive. Okay. Um, so you said he had a bunch of other knives too, correct? So would it be safe to say that he was fascinated with knives? No, I mean I had a, I, ha I have like a, I have a knife collection, like a minor one. Okay. Because I, I just, some knives are cool the way that they're built. Mm -hmm. He just has pocket knives from like over the years. Gotcha. If I like at first, whenever I first heard about it, I thought it was, be like he strangled her or like he broke her neck or something mm. I didn't know like he was even capable of ever like like anybody at all I don't know how you could stab somebody to death okay. it's just crazy so I guess with his knives have you seen any other knives that he has yes are there any knives that are special to him for some reason no, that one would be a special knife it was a gift and the one before that he broke it was Mike gave him his stepdad but he snapped it backwards it's broken I think his real dad, Jason, gave him that one, mm -hmm. but I'm not a, I'm, I'm, that's not a fact, I'm not sure, because we talked about that months, months, months ago. Okay. Um, if we got information from other people um, that he had knives that were special to him, do you think you could identify any other knives that he had? Yes, sir. Okay. So I've got a picture of this knife here. Do you recognize that knife? That's the one his dad gave him. This is the one his dad gave him. Stepdad, Mike. Yep, he broke that one. That one? He broke that one? Yeah, he was messing with it, and he stabbed it. Like, not stabbed it. He bent it all the way back. Okay. And it broke. That's how he cut his thumb. Like, he was just trying to, like, open it, and he pushed it back, and he put his whole finger down it. And okay. that's how he got, like, blood all on Zofie's walls. Okay. So do you know what happened to that knife after he broke it? It's still in her room. It's still in, it's still in Zofie's room? Yes, sir. Okay. Could you do me a favor? And just write on here that that this is, like I said, in your own words, um, that that's Aiden's knife. It might be better to write on the back where it's all white. said this this is Aiden's knife he broke it at Zofie's house it was a gift from Mike okay and same thing if you just write today's date on there for me 13th yes May 13th and then again sign your name however you would sign your name You said he had a pretty extravagant knife collection, though. Yeah, it's about four, six, four, five, six, it's like four through six. Okay. He has a grenade one, mm -hmm. which like he would pretend he would like put between his knuckles to punch, so it can like I don't know, I guess some sort of like type of brass knuckle thing. Mm -hmm. And then he has like a karambit one, if you know the style of karambit. Mm -hmm. It's a pocket knife that unfolds and it's like a little hook, like 
just on the bottom side yeah. of it. And it's fat, so it's about like this thick, and then like rounds up a little bit, but mm -hmm. it's a pocket knife. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen him, um, like how would he, would he just carry the knife? Would he get him out and twirl him around? Would he? He would just carry it. He just have it in his pocket right here. Okay. Did you ever see him, um, like using a knife? I know you mentioned earlier, like he would, you know, do like a mock stabbing or, um, you know. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot about Tristan. I mean, Zophie told me. Because one time Zophie and Tristan were at the house and it made Aiden extremely mad. Aiden pulled it. He, like, we, me and Tristan left the room. We went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. and like he pulled out. Zofi told me he pulled out his knife and like had it, had it, had it out of his pocket. And then like she was just like, I, th I thought you'd like it. Did, like I thought it, like you'd like it because you're a guy. I don't. And then she was just like, I think he thought about stabbing me there. Cause I told her I was like, he could have stabbed you. You don't, you don't know. He could have killed you. He mm -hmm. could have killed anybody. Could have killed me. I mean, like we don't know. Mm -hmm. So he, I think, I, she said he did that, and that could have been a threat towards her, because that's like the maddest I've ever seen him get. Mm -hmm. And then they went into the movie room, and then uh, me and like when after all that happened, me and Tristan came back out, and we were in my room, and then she just told me this, and I was just like, that, yeah, like. So other than that, have you ever personally seen him like playing around with a knife that you think may have been like an irresponsible way of doing it? Or, you know, if he was making slashing motions or pretending to stab yeah, someone. or do that. Like, he'd open it, and then, like, he'd go, doo, 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 doo. like, and that's all. I've seen him do that a whole bunch of times. Okay. Without a knife, with a knife. Okay. And, like, he's, I mean, in what kind of context would he do that? Just randomly? or Just randomly. Okay. Um, has he made, yeah, I think I asked this question before, has he made comments about stabbing somebody or you said cutting somebody's throat? Yeah, it's like, like slitting somebody's throat. Okay. He said it'd be satisfying to watch the blood drain out. I was like, that's weird. Like, that's weird. Like, that's not normal. But at the same time, I mean, like, I've seen it happen in games. So, like, I do get where he's coming from. But it's at the same time doing it in real life. Seeing it in movies and games is a completely different story. Right. How often would he make comments like that? He hasn't made slitting somebody's throat in about, like, um, like a month. Anything about stabbing somebody? No, he hasn't really talked about it at all. Okay, he would just do those mock. Yeah, he does. He does that all the time. When was the last time you saw him do that? I think it was. Well, not that. It wasn't that night. It was way. Uh, I think whenever we were hanging out with, it was all of us. We were all there: Michaela, Gabe, Ryan, me, Sophie, Aiden. I think like he got up and he did it. Everybody, everybody like liked Aiden. Mm -hmm. Aiden was like chill. But I thought he was a cool person. That I guess I I am dead, so I can't imagine him like, because mm -hmm. that takes a lot of like anger and a lot of aggression to stab somebody, especially repeatedly, dude. Um, did Tristan ever confide in you or, or open up to you about any concerns she had about Aiden or his behavior? No, she just honestly, oh, it's gonna be bad. Uh, she just said. Aiden's cool. I've also heard he has a big dick. She said that before. Cause she, uh, she I, I don't know if she like li liked Aiden, but I'm like pretty sure. Yeah, she liked me and Aiden. Okay. Whenever um, Aiden would pull his knife out and do stabbing motions, was Tristan ever present when he yes, did sir. that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Would he ever? Did he just do it like in general, in like a to an open area, or would open he do area. it towards people, or open area? Okay. So he wasn't necessarily directing it at somebody specifically. No. When he was messing around like that, he would just do it randomly when we were bored and we had nothing to do, and we were just sitting in somebody's room. Okay. Um, I'm sure you've probably seen some stuff on both the news and both uh, maybe social media or whatnot or just, you know, talk around the neighborhood. Do you know 
the area where Tristan was located? No. Uh, my my brother said that it was bike in on a lake, and I seen that in on YouTube because I was watching videos about it, trying to figure out what was going on. Okay. Um, when you guys would hang out, would it only be at your house or at Aiden's house or at Zofie's house? Yeah, those only three places. We never, like, met up anywhere. We only, because honestly, we never really liked being outside because it was always hot. Because Zofie, her mom don't let her go outside because she's, like, she has really, she's ginger and she has, like, I don't know if she has a medical condition with her skin, but she can't be she out. sunburns like, easily? Yeah, she can't be out in really hot weather. Gotcha. Um, did Aiden ever talk about... Um, places he would go to hang out. Mm. No, we'd only ever hang out at South, North, his house, my house, or Sophie's, and we never went to South or North. Okay. Um, do you ever hang out at Aiden's house? Yeah, I have. Okay. Has Aiden taken you anywhere um, around his house, like a hangout spot you know of? They told me of a big rock. Um, he said like he it was a smoke spot back like oh, a year ago that a year or two ago that he used to go to, and it was kind of like you know when you come into his neighborhood and you can take a right and go down the history. He said you go and then you keep going all the way down through the neighborhood and there's like this big rock. A big rock. And we didn't even go there all the way. I'm like, I'm trying to get back to her house because I was really thirsty and really hungry. Mm -hmm. I think we we're going back to my house or his house. So this is about a year ago. No, that was the day that, remember whenever you were out of town, and then I snuck the people in the house? That was that day. I was at his house, and then... Answer his questions. We left. Okay. So you know about what, about how long ago that was? You said it was last year, but... No, it was this year. This year? Yeah, but he was telling me about that last, like, last year. Okay, but he was, so he was talking about going down the road to um, big rock. to a big rock. We never even got there because I just said, let's go, let's turn around and leave. Okay. Um, did he ever talk about how often he would go to that spot or the last time, last time he would go to that spot? He said he hadn't been there in a year, like a year. Okay. Did Tristan ever tell you about going to a hangout spot with Aiden in the woods? No, I've never... It was if they ever hung out, it was through, through me. Mm -hmm. I was always like, if they ever hung out, it was through me. He never, she never would like, sneak, sneak out to go to his house. She, if we ever hung out, it was only us. Okay. She never mentioned him besides if like stuff in school. Okay. So your only knowledge about the area where she was found at is uh, based on your looking at videos that are on YouTube or like news media clips. Yes, sir. And um, only thing that I'm familiar with is this overshot. Whenever it showed the dive team in the truck, that's the only like thing that I've seen. Mm -hmm. At this time, I know I don't know anything. My brother, he sent me like a picture, like um, through like through PlayStation, saying it was like somewhere through it was like a road behind his house, and it was like by a school. And I can't, I think it was, I can't, I don't remember the road. When you saw the overshot, did any of that air look familiar to you? I've never been there in my life. I never even go that far. Okay. Um, did you have, uh, um, I got to ask this question, I just want to clarify it. So the morning that Tristan was reported missing, um, police showed up and you tried calling Tristan on FaceTime? Yes, sir. Correct? And you called Aiden on FaceTime? Yes, sir. Did you communicate with either of them in any other way? Um, I, I, I texted him at one point saying, like, we were, like, I was just like, do you know what happened to Tristan? Um, and, like, the police were going to end up coming to your house. I said, because in the past, I, I, I rolled him under the bus to my dad, because I, I was just trying to, like, be honest to my father. Mm -hmm. So, I just was like, I'm not, wasn't trying to roll you under the bus, it was just like, but she's missing. And, like, you can't, like, really keep stuff behind. You were the last person to see her. I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. And then he just said, okay, but usually he just leaves me on red. So he said, okay, or nothing. Leaves you on red? Yeah. Like, if you see a message, it says, like, they'll oh. like, type back, or it gotcha. says red. Gotcha. They don't reply. Okay. Um, 
when you were in the back of the police car, were you communicating with anybody else? No. Other than Snapchat? At the time, everybody thought that I, I was the one, and I already killed her, and I already dumped her somewhere. Everybody already was saying all that stuff to me. Mm -hmm. um, so did you communicate with Zofie? No, not at all that day. Um, this is a, a screenshot that we got of communication. You can see it, dude. Didn't I? I did. Yep, I did text her. She was asking me how I was doing. Okay. I said, yeah, this is scary. Yep, I completely forgot about that. Okay. I sent that picture when I was in there. Take your time when you answer questions, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, so I just, I'm trying to make sure, because, so, I'm just trying to make sure I understand the, the timelines of everything, okay? Like I told you before, I'm not suspecting you of anything. I'm not, uh, there's no intention that I have of targeting you to anything, okay? I just need you to be honest with me about the communications, because we're going through... I'm trying to identify who's communicating with who, what the nature of that communication is. And so any information you can give me uh, helps me, but I'm also, like I said, I'm trying to help you, okay? Because sure. I'm trying to make sure that nobody can come back and say that you had any kind of involvement with this. In the back of the car, I talked to a girl named Trinity. She lives in New York. I talked to a girl named Trinity, and then I talked to Sophie. I completely forgot that I talked to anybody in the back of there. I just did my story. It's all right. You had a lot going on, I'm sure. Um, who was Trinity to you? Trinity was, um, it was kind of a long-term, it was kind of a long-term dating thing. It wasn't nothing crazy, but now she, we were talking. Okay. So she just, uh, somebody that you know from? Uh, Snapchat. Gotcha. Okay. Um, going back to this knife right here, you said Aiden carried it on him all the time, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know if he had that knife on him when you were hanging out with him on Saturday night? No. I'm, I he never empty out his pockets or anything. I mean, I didn't know if he had it on him, but I would have assumed he had it on him. Mm -hmm. How would he carry that knife? Would it be just in his pocket or? Just in his pocket. Does he have a sheath that it goes in? No. Okay. It folds in. Okay. Um, so... He had a name for it. For what? The knife. This one? Mm -hmm. What was his name for this knife? This knife right here was Picker, and that one was Poker. Can you um, write on here which one is which? He called this one picker because if you stabbed, it would like rip. Mm -hmm. And he called this one poker because if you stabbed, it would just poke. You can write on the front of that one, but the writing's already there. Um, what was Aiden and Tristan's relationship like? It was, I mean, I don't even, I, it was kind of back and forth, like you could have took a guess, but they were mainly friends, but you, I, he was trying to move in on her, but not at all, he had a girlfriend, mm -hmm. so if they did, like if they were to do anything, it would be that Tristan brought it up, mm -hmm. and then after that, he's like, I don't, I'm not cheating on her, I can't cheat on her. So then that's when I was like, okay, he ain't going to do anything. And then Tristan was like, oh, man, really? And I was just like, yeah. I was like, he does have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then I don't know, because they weren't fighting that night. Like, they were good. So I don't know, like, if they did anything or not. Okay. If he got tempted to do anything. When, when you were in the back of the patrol car um, with Aiden, or when you were... Uh, FaceTiming him before you guys got together. Did he make any comments about Tristan other than he last saw her at the end of her neighborhood? He never said anything. That's whenever I was in the back of the car and they said he touched, like she touched his dick. I was like, 
why wouldn't he say that to me? Because, mm-hmm. you know, usually he, he'll tell me everything because we both do. I'm not sure I understood correctly. So you said in the back of the car he told you that she touched his penis? No, I heard it from another cop. Okay. No, remember when you came to the window? It's like, because uh, I was like, Dad, I was like, dude, I'm, I was, I hadn't ate nothing. I was in the back of the car all day. Mm-hmm. And then they, they gave me peanuts, and I was talking to Dad, and my dad right there. And then he said, they said that she, um, he, she touched his dick, and then he pushed her. And then I, did, I didn't think about it. I wanted to, I thought that it was the dealer, the older dude, that, like, she would talk about that did anything. Mm-hmm. But it did. I thought about, like, the full timeline and the full thing in my head, and I was like, no, he couldn't have done that. Okay. But Aiden didn't make any comments like that to you, correct? Nothing at all. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to take a quick break. I think that's about all I have. Um, I just want to take a few minutes to kind of go over my notes, make sure I've got the questions that I got. Do you need to use the bathroom or anything? No, sir. I'm good. Any need, need to use the bathroom? I'm good. Okay. Um, if y'all could just give me a few minutes to look at my notes, um, yes. I'm going to take a bathroom break, and then uh, I'm going to come back in, and I think that's – about all that I have, I might have a few follow-up questions. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Sure. If you want to, um, do I need to stop the recording for you, or have you guys walk outside, or? Um, let's see. I mean, whatever you guys want to do, I'm, I'm trying to accommodate. David, what do you want? Just, just, just sit in silence while they look at their notes. Yep, all right. Okay. The recorder's still going to be on. Okay. Recording's on, yep. Um, if you need to use the bathroom or anything or get a drink of water, there's two bottles of water here. Or yes, sir. You can knock on the door and we'll come get you. Thank you. I'll take a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> if I get one for you, I would. <laughs> Yeah, hold on, you're on speakerphone. Sounds good. And Brittany, one other thing, can you hear me? Yes, you're on speaker, though. Toward, towards the end of this, ask them if you can relay to them some of the Um, Trey, could you tell me uh, what you were wearing on Saturday night? I was wearing no uh, no shoes, no socks, no nothing. Um, I'm pretty sure I was in my red Adidas shorts with no shirt. I was just like how it usually would be, just chilling in my house. But I can't really, I'm not 100% positive on really what I was wearing because I have like whole bunch of stuff I usually wear to bed. Mm-hmm. It's rather it was rather a pair of sweatpants, a pair of gym shorts, and that's that's it. Okay. Um is that something that you would have worn outside too? If I would have worn outside I would have 
I would have on my black bands because uh, those are my like shoes I wear everywhere. I would have on a pair of sweatpants and I would have on my dark, not my dark gray, my light gray boys in the hood um, hoodie. It's okay. Baggy. Okay. Um, the the hoodie that we collected from the house, um, do you know which hoodie I'm referring to? The Death Valley one? Yeah. Um, whose hoodie was that? That was mine. That was yours? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I don't think so. Remember, we do bought me the Death Valley one and the boys in the hoodie. And boys in the hood, the same day. The one abortion. I found in the garage had two kids with a Ouija board on the back. That was, the. that's why he was wearing mine. His was, his was full of sweat. So that was Aiden's that was left in the garage. Yes, and okay. then he put on, it was cold outside, so we put on my Death Valley one. Okay, and his... His hoodie was full of sweat because he was skateboarding? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, that's about all the questions that I have, with the exception of this one last thing. Um, we have your cell phone still because we believe there may be evidence on your cell phone. Uh, are you willing to, uh, with concurrence of your attorney, to provide us consent to download your cell phone? David, what would you like him to answer? They're going to get it regardless. Uh, consent to it. Yes. Okay. Um, after this, we'll grab the form, and then uh, we'll, um, and you can obviously be present for it. Um, and then it just, we'll never get the, the, the form and the cell phone downloaded. We can get your phone back to you. The only thing I'm going to ask you is for your passcode. I'm not going to ask you for it right this second because we're recording. I'm trying to help you out here, you too. You can get it back today or I, right now? I can't promise you when we can get it back to you. Um, but uh, if we do get that consent form, then that helps us to get it started to download the process now. We can get it back to you quicker. I don't know how long it's going to take, so I can't promise you. I don't want to promise you a, a timeline on that. I, did, uh, I just thought you said today, so I was clarifying. But We're going to start it today. Like I said, I don't know how long it may take. Okay. Okay. We have a few questions, David and I. Can I ask? Is it okay? Yeah, uh, that's fine. Uh, you had mentioned something about the knife being swabbed. Are you able to release information in regards to if there's DNA found on that? Not at this time. Okay. And then the second question that we had... Um, Will there be a time that a statement could be submitted through the media or a statement that would exonerate our client um, because he's been getting a lot of death threats? I, I can completely understand that. Um, the whole purpose of us trying to be here is to gather his information, mm -hmm. um, give us a chance to investigate that thoroughly. Um, we're going through, obviously, it's a very uh, serious incident. Right. And like I told you all from the get-go, um, I don't believe he has any involvement in it, but we just need to go through and confirm his timeline, his events, and everything like that. The cell phone download is going to help us out. Um, that information, I believe something like that can be released. Uh, I can't give you an answer on when, um, but I think I can discuss that with, with our, uh, our investigative team and, and get that if we can. Okay? okay. I don't want to make any promises. Any other questions, David? Nope, that's it. Thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, Brittany. Yes, you're welcome. I'm going to hang up, David, okay, and then I'll watch the consent form. All right, sounds good. Call me if you need me. All right, bye-bye. Okay. All right, let me go uh, get one of those consent forms. And I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Anyway, it is still recording. Yes, we'll remain in silence. Okay. Um, this is the form. I'm going to ask him a couple questions on it to fill it out, and then if you want to review the form before he signs it, you're more than welcome to. I'll review to. it. So I'm going to write your legal name on here, okay? Yes, sir. So it's Dofus Ray. Ray Absher. Is it A-B-S-H-E-R? Yes, sir. Okay, can you describe your cell phone for me? My cell phone is in a black case with a... What, what kind of phone is it? It is a I, blue iPhone XR. And you said it's in a black case? With stickers on the back 
and a pop socket. There's also a crack running down the back of it, the back of the glass back. Okay. Um, so, if you want to view the form here. And your father's welcome to review the form too. It's a generic form. It looks good. You can sign. So if you consent to it, um, you're going to sign your name right here. Yes, sir. And because you are a uh, minor, it's got a space for your father to sign as the guardian. First and last? Yep. Okay. Well, Serge like to come on the form. Um, now that you signed that, if you could do me a favor, like I said, I wasn't going to ask you verbally, you can write your passcode down so we can get easier into your phone easier and uh, expedite that timeline. Is that the correct one? Well, usually it's Please. just muscle memory. It should be. Let, let me see your phone. So I can write, type it in how I usually would. Five one two three five two. Is that on there? We yeah, have to five one two three five two. Yeah. That'd be his name there. So I just crossed my name out and initialed it and threw his name there. Okay. Are you good with that? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, that's all the questions I have for you now. Um, if in the event uh, we have any other follow-up questions, are you okay if we reach out to uh, your attorney and see if you're available um, to answer any follow-up questions? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, that will be done. Uh, I'll walk out here and get you guys my contact information so you have that. Yep. And then um, I, will, I will be in communication with you about what details we can release and when we can release them. Okay. Sounds okay. good. All right. This time I will conclude the recording. The time is now 1552 hours.